this movie would have been way better if they didn't make her and you d form a kind of romantic relationship i beg it's not every time romance 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 it's not every time oh god <laughs> focus on me we're back to our regularly scheduled program the wings. mickey mouse club content we you like your see. d telling you to subscribe hey welcome back to my youtube channel you know my name already but if you don't know my name, if this is your first time in my YouTube channel, oh. hi, my name is Odi. And since you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. So, you guys, today we're going to be talking about a movie titled Shrine Girl. Tell them in Nollywood. <laughs> I want to be like Jimai, Miss with like Ramsey Noah. Hey, <laughs> News about your father in this village. This just feels like deja vu. As you have now collected the gift, it's my time for let us restructure the shrine. You think you can fit into your father's shoes? Don't you eh? fit into his clothes? Don't know you are bringing shame to this family. Uh -uh. With all the money I've been bringing to this house, how do children behave? Ross, are you from around here? Why did they ask? Did he show any interest? Still trying to get your break. Ross, well, Judy, I think we need to see the shrine girl. And I believe that with this third demo and your help, I will get a record deal. I'm a producer in Hollywood. <laughs> How would you be an actor? Which one is actor? We are money makers, we are Malian. He's the only producer that I know. We are Habalis now. Cast includes Benjamin Twito, Two Sweet Annan with Kadiri M.M. Ufot, Nazo AKZ. The movie is about a dishonest girl. Her name is. Jide. She's a tomboy shark who do like she gambles. She's kind of like Raz and a thought. So we're introduced to her and her friend Uakwe. Her and Uakwe are they are hustlers. They do anything to get their hand on money, even if it's to scam people. Then they have this idea to because of um Jide's father was a popular herbalist in their village. So they now have this idea to open this shrine and use that shrine to kind of start making money from the shrine then they have this customer sky b and ud sky b is a director a nollywood director and ud is a struggling artist so they come to the village because ud is from the village they come to the village and go to see the shrine girl that's in jide so in order to seek her help to help the, so she will help them make help so she will help make them popular okay <laughs> so you help make them popular then obviously they find out that it's a scam because it doesn't work after she they she collects fifty thousand naira each from both of them then they come back and they you know make her destroy the shrine anyway i don't want to i'm not i don't want to like give the whole movie away let's just go right let's just let me just go into what i think about the film honestly honestly this film was actually interesting now for me the first half of this movie was the most interesting part of this whole film like the first half because this movie is about two hours and two two minutes long i think now the first hour of the movie is what was holding my attention and is even what made me stay to the end of the film i it's actually funny i had a few chuckles especially when the mother did some typical evil mother things and when um M.M. Ufot and Utkadiri were on the scene together. They had M.M. Ufot and Utkadiri had great, good, really, really good chemistry. I would have not been mad if this movie was just about two of them from beginning to end because there was even a point where we even just stopped seeing M.M. Ufot, M.M. Ufot on the screen. Like his own job was done after the first half of the movie. When it, <sighs> see, this movie, they lost. It's lost its way, like. It lost its way. I don't know why they went to go add romance inside. Honestly, the romance between you, the, the romance was not needed. It was not needed at all. This movie would have been way better if they didn't make her and you D form a kind of romantic relationship. I beg. It's not every time romance, 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 romance. It's not every time. Oh God. <laughs> I feel like why I'm so opposed to, I was so, I'm so opposed to the fact that with UD and EG, they formed the kind of romantic relationship was because of, they didn't have any chemistry. Like there, there was no kind of sexual chemistry, no, no tension in between them. It just seemed like a very, uh, as if, I think I wish they had just made them good friends. Do you get it? Because, okay, even if you want to make them have a romantic relationship, the way they did it, mm-mm. 
it's it didn't flow it didn't it didn't mesh it didn't make sense at all it seemed forced it seemed as if they just wanted to have a love story at the end of the day do you, do you people understand it's not every time sometimes just 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 leave it just make them friends you don't you don't have to force them to be in a relationship the second half of this movie is where i started getting uninterested and it's where i started skipping some scenes because there are some scenes that went on for too long they could they would have cut them short a lot of scenes went on for too long especially the opening scene when they were playing card they could have cut it short it's interesting yes i'm not going to lie it's interesting but along the way they they didn't know where to quit they didn't know where to stop they didn't know what to take out they didn't know what to make it add to make it in, to make it seem better but great acting from ruth kadiri ruth kadiri, ruth, ruth kadiri is a very versatile actor that's one thing i like about her she she when she, she knows how to play different roles she doesn't bind herself to one particular type of role great acting from Ben Ben Tito, too sweet Anna. In fact, the whole the whole cast from MM Ufot too. The whole cast cast ensemble did a very very commendable job. There were some issues with the audio, but that's by the it wasn't that major. It was kind of a minor problem. I liked the storyline. The storyline was good. It had a very very good premise. Like from the beginning, it made sense. However, like I said, I wish that they focused on her being more of a because she wanted to be a nollywood star her passion is to be an actor so i wish they made that her transition from being a shrine girl to, to a nollywood star differently so um that's my two cents on the movie you should definitely definitely check it out it's on iroko tv and you will not regret it hopefully hopefully you won't i'll probably rate this movie i don't know an 8 over 10 don't if you have not hit that subscribe button yet do not forget to hit the don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to give me a thumbs up follow me on the um social don't forget to tell me what you think if you've watched them if you've watched this movie and i will definitely you guys know i always reply the comments now thank you bye <laughs>